Okay, in today's video we're going to look at upgrading file application services to DFSR. So let's jump straight in and do the upgrade. So it's always a good idea before you start the test just to check um, that your, your Active Directory and network and sysfalls are replicating well. So you can do that by doing a DC diag and then just check the output. get a good pass all the way through on all the tests. Now a word of caution, you can go ahead and set your state that you want to be in, so set a migration state all the way to number three. Not recommended, it is possible. It will eventually get all your DCs into uh, DFSR but it is um, a one-way path. You can't kind of go back. If you do a stage migration to one, two, and three, um, providing you don't get to stage three without uh, making sure you've done one, two first, you can go back. So you can go to one, you can go back to zero, you can go to two, you can go back to zero, go to three, you're stuck. You can't go back at all. So what we're going to do today is a staged migration, starting at zero, go to one, go to two and then finally when we're ready we'll move to three. Let's do the first bit. So if we look at DFSR MIG, you can see on here we've got a couple of commands we want to do. So we can set a global state, we're currently at zero, we can get a global state and we can get a migration state. So let's do get global state Ah, and this is your first point you need to note. If you are still in a domain or forest function level lower than 2008, you can't do this process. So first of all, you need to open up domains and trusts and upgrade your forest to a minimum of 2008. We'll go to 2008R2 because that's the operating system we're running on. Now when we go back and run this command again, we can see that we're not yet initialized and to start the migration we need to set a global state. We are here, we want to get here. We do that by setting the global state to 1. And then once that's done we do get migration state and that will tell us whether our DCs have reached a state of one. Now, it can take a little while in a production environment um, for all DCs to reach that state, but once they actually do, you should get a consistent state showing across them all. Um, I've obviously got a little bit of latency, so I'll pause the video until it's come through, and I'll resume once it's got to that state. Okay, so we can now see that all our domain controllers have successfully migrated to the global state of prepared. We can go ahead and set the global state to the next level, which, let's remind ourselves. Okay, so we're now at one, we want to be at two. Select global state is two. What the servers is actually done, if you look on your Windows directory, you'll see there's now a sysfold DFSR. So that's got it into a prepared state. So it's made a copy of the sysfold and placed it there. So now when you move to the prepared, that re re redirected state, what happens is it moves users and clients from using the sysfold to using the sysfold DFSR. And if we run the get migration state, we can see that it's not yet reached a consistent state. So again, we'll give it a few minutes just to wait for it to come to a consistent state and I'll start the video again once then, once we've got to that stage. Okay, now we can see that it, all the domain controllers have reached consistent state and they are all in the redirected. So one final state we need to do. So if we set global state to three and if just remind ourselves what that one is. So eliminated, that's the final stage. We need, need to wait for couple of things to happen. One of them being fire application service stopping itself. 
and all the servers reaching a consistent state. So once again I'll close the video and we'll start it again once we've reached a consistent state. Right, we can see that all the domain controllers have now reached a consistent state and the migration has succeeded. So let's just do a few checks. We should see that file replication service is now disabled. That's done by itself. And we've got our sysfol folder, DFSR. And that looks good. 